Oh, well, hello. You've arrived just on time for our sunshine tea party. <laughs> we get very proper around here for such parties. And I see you've worn your finest just as I have. Well, I invite you upon this adventure, this journey to play. Uh, you see, my name is Platypus the Sunshine Platypus, or Platy for short, and um, I am here to talk to you and share some play. You see, um, well, I think I will pop out of this voice so that I can be a little more serious with you, although I could continue. But you might take me a little more seriously. Um, what is serious anyways? Um, I, for those of you that may or may not know me, I also go by Ian, and I am all about play. That is one of the biggest things that I uh, love to share in this uh, life. And so I thought today I woke up and said, hey, Maybe I'll make a video about play, and I'm going to try to keep it a little shorter than my other ones, which tend to go on, because I can go on so many different tangents and rabbit holes to talk about, because there's so many fascinating things out in this life that are all connected. Um, and it was perfect, because as I came outside here to sit down and talk about play, um, these squirrels just raced into the backyard, uh, the tree right behind me, there to my left, and three of them just zoomed up in the tree and were getting all kinds of wild and crazy and so i just like yeah was about to hit record and stopped and just watched them and um enjoyed their playful energy squirrels definitely have that quality about them and then they went into the tree and had a little taste of some figs and took off zooming over the rooftops which was fun to watch them um but yeah, this I, I mentioned that too because uh, there is a lot of play in wildlife and nature, and I would love to do future videos about that. But in this moment, I am here in Berkeley at Monkey Business Camp. Um, I am site directing uh, the younger group this week. I've been here doing the winter camp. And so I would like to connect in play with children. Um, that's where I learned a lot of my play that I, well, I should say I knew it from being young and then, you know, uh, it gets lost as we grow up. Um, so yeah, they keep me really in the way of playing and imagining things and creating. Um, and one way that uh, play really helps um, support them and um, us, anybody in our lives is around trying and playing out different roles in life uh, so you'll see it with uh, children you know they're playing house they're playing whatever it is fixing the car uh, going driving the bus to school etc um, they are uh, processing the world um, and trying different things out based on what they've seen you know maybe there's an argument between uh, people uh, family at home or something and they play those out and then realize oh this is how that feels to me you know oftentimes you know in an argument they're like oh okay I tried that and it didn't feel good so maybe I won't do that or I'll tell my friend oh I'm sorry I didn't mean to you know hurt your feelings here's a cake I baked for you and um, they will continue to play to see how everything works and feels and it's a really amazing and just natural, I mean, that's a part of our essence of our way of being, how we, you know, came here as humans is to process our emotions and our feelings with play and through play. And the other great thing about that is that if, you know, a feeling doesn't feel good, that it's just testing the waters. And again, they can come out of that part of the play and it's like, oh, you know, I was just playing. Like, now I'm stepping out into this other way of being. And it affords us, it allows us a way to not get stuck in our story, especially, like, you know, if we'd like some of those times where we feel like we'd like to apologize to someone, but, like, you know, might hurt our ego or, you know, our whatever uh, feeling of self-worth around that. 
Whereas when we're playing, it's like, oh, you know, that was just not me. That was this role I was playing. So it gives us a place to explore that as well. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness, we're already over five minutes. Well, I'm going to finish up right there. I have plenty more to say about all that. Again, there's so many tangents on it all. Um, but to sum it up, yeah, it, play is an amazing way to try out different things, situations in life, um, process our emotions, and to uh, step out of um, the seriousness of what we perceive our life to sometimes be, which, again, I do it all the time. It's just part of life. Um, so I also would love to leave you with something that you can try around play. Um, I like to try to leave something that anyone can do in all my videos to just support um, your growth, our growth, our collective growth as a world together and moving in in good ways that feel good and enjoyable to be in this, this life. So, uh, yeah, for this, I would just say, um, you know, do what I did at the beginning, uh, take on a different voice, a different role, a different character. And this can be something that, you know, you're not necessarily recording a video of to share with whoever feels like watching it, or even other people, you know, uh, try this just when you're by yourself, you know, at your place out in nature somewhere, and just start talking to yourself or some imagined person nearby or creature or talk to a squirrel in the tree and either put on a different voice, a different personality, whatever, whatever you feel, just something that, you know, feels that you're stepping more outside of what you perceive to be you on a normal basis. And try that out and see how it feels. Uh, just get playful, be silly, laugh, laugh at yourself, laugh with yourself, laugh. Yeah, just laugh. <laughs> and uh, see how it feels. Um, lots of love. I'm excited to share more with you, especially around play. Um, it's one of my favorite things. Ow. <laughs>